Welcome to Economics Design. As you know, Economics Design is three years old this year. And I'm really excited to share a bit more about where we have gone, what are we doing now, and a little bit more about what, where are we moving as we move forward. So what is Economics Design? As you can imagine, it's all about designing economics. But what is the long-term goal we're looking to achieve? The long-term goal is figuring out how do we define this thing called gross protocol value. Just like a country, we use we figure out the measurement, the value of the country, not by the currencies that they have or the value of the central bank, but we understand the value of a currency or country by GDP, gross domestic product. So taking this concept, we want to figure out how do we calculate and account for the valuation of each protocol by the value being produced. And that's gross protocol value. And why do we want to do that? Why do we want to figure out how do we define, how do we calculate gross protocol value? Two things. Firstly, we want to turn it, turn valuation from an art to a science. Secondly, what we can measure, we can improve. At the end of the day, economic growth and all these different kind of growth mindset, growth metrics, it's about growing and improving. If you can't measure things, it's very hard to define and figure out how do we improve these different metrics or these different systems. So that's the long run of what we're doing and what we're building. At the end of the day, we're building a toolkit. We're building a live dashboard, a live terminal and a database to be calculating an ongoing metric of what's going on in the valuation and the value accrual of all these different protocols. But how do we do that? How can we get that? That's the end goal. So you have to start with the end in mind and then work your way backwards. And the best way to figure out how things are done is to go to the builder. You can know, you don't know how well the, the bridge is built until you speak to the architect who built the bridge or the civil engineer who built the bridge. So in the same way, what we've been doing for the past three years is working with protocols and building and designing these economic policies for these protocols. We are the designers, we, are, we design and define these economic protocols, these economic policies. So we have very different insights and perspectives of how can we quantify and how can we measure these different economic protocols. So this is exactly what we're doing. First we design and then we measure them. So that's the big picture. But how, how do we actually do that? There is one aspect to designing and from the designing to the econteric dashboard, the analytics, the gross protocol value that we talk about, there's something in between, which is your analytics, which is your research. So we work with a lot of research groups, we work with universities, we work with a lot of researchers and collaboratively come up with interesting research papers, frameworks and more insights because we're in the cutting edge space. No one is doing this, some people are doing this and we want to work with all these different people and we want to consolidate all these different little research pockets of knowledge and pockets of information, add them together and create this output which is the way to turn valuation from an art to a science. We want to figure out how can we quantitatively measure gross protocol value. And so that's what we're doing in economic design. For the past three years, we focus a lot on educating people what the entire space is about. We've been focusing a lot on researching and explaining what are these knowledge gaps, what are the additional knowledge that we can bridge. And we've been working very much on designing these different economic policies, incentive mechanisms, token design, monetary design for clients. We're going to continuously do that. At the same time, we're also going to start quantifying and measuring these different aspects of gross protocol value. So the next three years will be even more exciting, even more fascinating. We've been working on Econteric, our terminal, for the past one year. And we're going to continuously focus more on all these aspects. And ultimately, we want to be the leader in figuring out what gross protocol value is so that it can give protocols a way to improve their protocol. It can give a way for retail investors and institutional investors a way to understand the valuation of these protocols and then a way to calculate the risk when you're putting your assets and putting your funds in these projects. So stay tuned to what we're doing. I'll keep you updated as we go along. Bye! Thank you so much for staying throughout this entire video. If you're interested to learn more and you want to join the community, do check out our Discord, check out our Academy, and you get to watch these videos for free as well without any ads. And also grab the book that I've talked about earlier on. The book summarizes a lot of what we're trying to build, what we're trying to design, and the different aspects that can be changed during the entire design process. We also just launched Econteric. Econteric is really economics plus esoteric because 
This space is so complicated and so difficult. What we want to do is to make it easier for anyone to come and learn and be part of this system. So in Econteric, we are breaking down the different analytics and different data to give you more insights to understand the robustness from a very fundamental level of the health of this ecosystem. So check out econteric.com and I'll see you there. Bye. Great.